County Today is presented by Connell Real Estate. Hire an agent, get a team. Learn more by visiting ConnellRealEstate.com. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Brown, and this is Clark County Today, your quick check of the top stories you'll find at ClarkCountyToday.com. Health officials in Clark County are waiting on test results from eight people at local hospitals to see if they have a confirmed case of COVID-19. That's the disease that is blamed for the deaths of nine people now near Seattle. The virus, which originated in Wuhan, China, has now been confirmed in over 100 people in the United States. Clark County Public Health is working with hospitals to isolate patients who may have contracted the virus, as well as anyone who has direct contact with them. Should more cases of the virus be found, public health could look to cancel events or even close down movie theaters to prevent the spread of the disease. Right now, however, the best thing to do is get that flu shot, wash your hands well and regularly, and avoid touching your eyes, ears, mouth, or nose went out in public. With the threat of the virus growing, people have been going out in public, hitting stores across the county, stocking up on things like toilet paper, hand sanitizers, disinfectant, human food, pet food, and dust masks. But medical experts say the masks likely won't do much to prevent you from the virus. They could help you, though, from spreading it if you become sick. But the best advice if you're experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, which include fever, a dry cough, and difficulty breathing, is to stay home. If you need to go to the hospital, call ahead so they can take precautions. A 29-year-old Vancouver man died late Monday when the car he was driving crashed on Northeast 117th Street near Highway 99. Benjamin Quadier failed to negotiate a turn, according to the Clark County Sheriff's Office. The vehicle went off the roadway, slamming into a retaining wall. Speed was said to be a factor in that crash. A year after Vancouver City Council paused plans to put protective bike lanes along Columbia Street downtown over concerns about the removal of nearly 400 parking spaces, they've decided to move ahead with pretty much the original plan. The Citizens Advisory Group put together to examine the issue failed to reach a consensus, so five of seven city councilors said they would go with the original plan, which was deemed to be the safest for bikes, pedestrians, and other micromodal forms of transportation. If the plan is ultimately approved in the coming weeks, repaving and restriping of Columbia Street from 8th to 45th could begin later this summer. There's your quick check of the top stories we're following at ClarkCountyToday.com. Be sure to follow us on the social media channel of your choosing to see when stories are posted and be part of the conversation. You can also reach us through email news at ClarkCountyToday.com. For all of us, I'm Chris Brown. Thanks for watching.